Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while and I have really missed you all. <laughs> yes, I know and I know where have I been. Well, between traveling, switching jobs and handling some personal stuff, uh, life has been really a bit of a wild week. But I'm back right now and I hope you are all doing great. Enough about me, let's dive straight into today's topic. And before we go to today's topic, it's good to mention that we are going to diversify this channel rather than focusing just only on complex tech stuff. We are going to diversify it into something interesting and I'm going to be uh, spilling it out sometimes later on. Now, today we are going to build our own DIY CCTV system for your home, garage or even your kitchen. And now I get it. You could just buy one off the shelf, but where is the fun in that? Yeah, this is for the curious minds, of course, the tinkers and the developers who love learning and getting their hands dirty. Yeah, now all you need is actually a Raspberry Pi, any model, 345 or even 400 will work for you, and recommended a USB camera, which can be either Logitech 120p or any other supplier of that particular camera let's stick around and let's of course turn this tiny setup into a power of surveillance system and trust me by the end of this you will have full control over your own custom security fiend and let's get started so what you can see in the screen these are sample video uh, that I have been able to record on motion and during the last like 24 hours in my living room of course, I may not be able to show you these videos because of privacy issues. So um, let's log into our Raspberry Pi. Sorry, we are still going to use this terminal. Anyway, still the terminal. Yeah, and I hope it's quite visible for that matter. I can just expand this. OK, now after you log into your terminal, uh, the first thing that you need to do, I'm going to show you stepwise how to do this. Uh, we have very few steps in fact there are not many steps i already have a blog on this i'm going to show you where you can get to read it but there are those guys who do best in the video are uh, following the video and for the purposes of those guys let me show you the steps step one you need to set up the software and of course upgrade your software and uh, update and upgrade your software right yeah i already updated mine so it's 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 already done and then the next thing you know you, you have to do is you need to do the camera configuration and what you do is you can list the connected um, usb devices video devices by using this particular command and for me mine is connected in video zero uh, i don't know which one yours will be connected but it's good you check that and then um, you can, of course, you can uh, check if if uh, your particular camera support particular formats by using this particular command. Should start there, so you can check there the formats it support. Like now, this support JPEG, in motion, compressed. That's a particular it support video capture and stuff like that. And then the next thing you do is you can test your feed. So you just need to install a particular command. It's called an ffmpeg. So just sudo apt install ffmpeg, then dash, it will install. Mine already installed. I don't expect it to reinstall again. Then after that, I need to minimize this to entirety. And then after that, what you do the next thing you can check you can check if your camera is on i know mine it will tell me it's busy because i already have the camera on uh, the project is already running but all you need is this command don't worry about this i have already i have it in the block so if you paste it it will tell you uh it will sh it should open the camera but simply mine says that the resource is busy because this camera is already running after you have tested your camera you need to install motion okay so installing motion is very easy you just need to do sudo apt install motion then dash y then enter 
and after that the next thing after installing motion is configuring motion to configure motion is quite easy sudo nano slash etc slash motion slash motion dot config these are things that are mandatory for you uh, first thing is make sure daemon is on uh, the width and the height describes majorly the um, resolution of your camera for uh, Logitech 720 they recommend width to be 1280 and height to be uh, 720 but after doing a lot of tests I think I'm opting to um, to this because it works perfect for me yeah and then you have frame rates uh, this is mandatory also and threshold this is like it defines the sensitivity the lower it is the higher the sensitivity but if it's very low like say 500 as the threshold then you'll have a lot of false positives right so it's good you keep the threshold within uh, the recommended um, value like say a thousand to once 1500 that's 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 quite commendable yeah and then again you have to enable the ports uh, for me I'm using port 881 you can enable whichever whichever the ports you want and then something important here is stream local host keep it off and uh, this one is going to allow us to uh, for remote access okay then of course you need to save this and exit then next thing of course you must create you must create um, um, you must create your directory for me as you can see where am I I think I am in home slash Aaron Ayub I think if I list directories here I have desktop I think I am in I am in in the desktop it's where I created my folder which is motion rec yes because if I change directory to motion rec yes you realize this is where I have all my videos so yeah so you can create your own um, directory in whichever folder that you want but again you have to specify it in the next step which is configuring system service and a system service you have to specify which particular uh, folder or directory you want yes exactly this is the command I've been looking for and you need to set a number of things <laughs> you can either set it up here or the previous part so it's sudo nano slash etc slash motion slash motion dot config so the mandatory things here we have the daemon which must be on and then you have to set your particular target directory for me as i mentioned i have mine in my root directory and a desktop and i'm calling it motion directory and then you have to enable your particular target video device mine is zero and then the next thing is resolution you can set it up either 800 600 as 8 but you have to check that again depending on your camera and then the maximum number of frames to be captured per seconds for me it's 15 and then this is like the date formats in which you want your images and your videos to be displayed in and then of course we have something else that you have to set up and this is on the threshold i've already mentioned this but uh, again you have to set it up and the noise level it can be either 16 or 32 that has been confirmed to be working fine and then lastly um there's something else here the port yes this is the port the port here is 881 you must set this again you can set it out either here or in the other file that i was showing you so this is sudo nano etc slash motion slash motion dot config okay and after you're done with this imagine you're already done so <laughs> what you do next is quite easy you just need to um to enable to reload your daemon right you just need to reload your daemon that is it's like uh, reloading the service just a moment so to reload the service you just need to say sudo system ctl daemon reload and then you need to system ctl you need to enable motion and then you need sudo system 
CTL you need to start motion and then sudo system CTL motion status you can say check check your status unknown command motion why 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 status motion let's let's start let's try status motion oops yes now as you can see our 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 script is already running it's active running and stuff like that depending on the IP that you have in your network and you can always check that by running if config it will show you your particular IP for me it's this one here it's the broadcast IP no it should be this this is a broadcast IP you can check if your feed is active or not oops it's not opening <laughs> I don't know why yeah it's it's opened maybe I was taking it so fast and you just need the IP and the port IP and the port and then press enter and you should be able to see your feed so if someone interrupt this particular feed the motion will be detected and it will definitely capture that now in the next video I want us to focus on majorly three things how do we store this into maybe a Google Drive storage and how do we send alerts in either um, telegram or email with the particular capture and video thank you so much for your time and attention i really appreciate you all have a wonderful day peace